What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a noticeable upgrade to the Premiere Pro user interface. I'm going to go over the major changes inside and talk about the things I do and I don't like about it. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoy watching this video, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see the newest version of Premiere Pro that I'm using, there's a link down in the description. Okay, so this is the new welcome screen as you open up Premiere Pro. You'll see here to the left, a blue highlighted that says new project. Below there's open project. That's current projects you're already working with. Also, if you've established projects, come over in the middle. They're gonna be listed here of the recent ones you've been working with and you'll see them in order. You can also organize them by most recent size and so on. If you come up here to open projects, say you already have some that are open and they're not listed here. You can double click open project and it's gonna take you to the search menu and you just find them wherever you stored them previously. But I'm gonna start with new project. I'm gonna double click this. So this is where things are different. So if you come up here, you see the house, which is the page we were just at. There's now the import tab, an edit tab, and an export tab. These are the three main functions when you're working on a project. So right now we're in the import tab. So we need to import footage and start a new project. So I'm gonna come over here where it says project name, test, movie. And then the project location is where you wanna store it. Do you wanna store it on your desktop? Do you wanna store it in a folder wherever? You can just click down and you can search from there. I'm gonna leave it where it is because that's just an external drive that I have. Now, if you come over here to the locals, this is pretty much your computer itself, whether it's your home, your desktop, documents folder, anywhere you have pictures, any place you wanna source the media, whether it's video or photo, you can access them here. And then down here under devices, if you have an SD card or an external drive or some other place that the media is stored on, it'll be listed here so you can access from there. But right now I have a folder here that's called sample media. This is just generic media through Premiere, but I'm gonna click on that. So we have access to these videos. And depending on how many videos, you can also come up here and change the visual. You can use the slider if you wanna make them smaller so you can fit more files on there, or you can raise it up. You can also do the grid view, which is what it is now, or you can do a list view. I like the grid view because it's easier to see. You can play through the footage to see what it is. You can also come down here and hover over this bottom number. It'll tell you all the different information that's attached to that video. The frame size, the frame rate, duration, that sort of thing. So if you're wanting to sort through which footage you wanna use for your project, you can do it here. So I'm gonna scale this back down a little bit so we can see all the videos. You can easily just grab and kind of lasso all of them that way. Or what I like to do is import them in a specific order because that's how I want them played out in the edit. So it'll just save me time of having to kind of put them in order later. So I'm just gonna imagine this is an order of a rough cut that I wanna do. So in my film, if I say I wanna start out with this opening shot, I'm gonna click that. Say I wanna to jump to the kids playing soccer, do another shot here, jump back to an empty field, and then I wanna go back to the city. Say that's the order I want. If I come down here to the left on the bottom, you're gonna see the exact same order that I chose. You'll watch if I add new videos by clicking them, it's gonna show them down here in this line. So if I go down here now and say those are the clips that I wanna work with, if I click create, you'll notice up here, I have create a new sequence turned on. So it's gonna automatically create a new sequence with these videos and they're gonna throw them in the timeline in the new sequence. Now, if I wanna create a new bin inside the project panel, I'm gonna click that on also. So let's just type new bin. So now it's gonna take these clips, put it inside the bin and it's gonna label it and start a new bin. And it's also gonna create a new sequence and you can name it whatever you want. Just for test, I'm gonna do test, just for test sequence. Once I click this create button, because I've toggled on the new bin and the new sequence, it's gonna take all the clips that I've highlighted and create a new bin out of them. And it's also gonna throw them in the order that I suggested down here into a new sequence. So let's come over here and click create. So now it's started a new sequence, which you'll see here. And those are the videos in the exact order that I chose. And then it also started a new bin like we talked about. If I click here, you'll see all the videos in a bin. And you can also go back to that import button, come back up here, and it'll take you right back to where you were. So now you already have your sequence started, but you wanna add just another bin. You can uncheck the sequence, cause I don't wanna start another sequence, but say I wanna add a different bin and say it's all gonna be just B-roll footage. So I'll click B-roll there. And let's just say these six videos are the ones I want for B-roll. And you see now we come down here, it says import. It doesn't say create cause we've already created the project and I only have the new bin toggled on. I do not have a new sequence toggled on. So I'm gonna click import. So now we go back over here to the project panel and now I have the B-roll folder. If we click in, those are the six videos we just created. Open up that. So now we're in the edit tab. 
And this is where it's a little different. Like I said, it's simplified a little bit. I used to like how they have the different workspaces list up here because I could just toggle back and forth. So now they have them here in a drop down menu. You click on it, you can pick whichever workspace you want. You can say show workspace tabs, but it's like a drag menu, which I'm not a big fan and it's to the side, which I don't like. Because over to the left, I like it where it's just dead center. So I turn that off myself. Then you can also customize this. You can come down here where it says edit workspace and you can edit what you want not to be shown. So say the, uh, the all panel tab, move down to not show. So then if I click OK, if I come up here, it's not going to show it here. And you can simplify. You can also, if you go back to edit, you can put any order you want. So say you use the audio layout more frequently, you can move that to the top here. So if I click OK, now I click on this, the audio will be the first thing there. So you can customize that however you want. You can also set a new workspace if you want to title it. If you have different people working on the project, your coworkers, other editors, you can have your different workspaces saved. I'm going to click off that. There's a full screen button here if you like, full screen, just a little shortcut. Now if I come over to the export tab, so a lot of it's the same thing, it's just reorganized. You can still send directly to YouTube if you want or Vimeo or Twitter, whatever projects you wanna do. Or if you wanna send out just the main file. And then you come over to the settings, you can name it what you want, you can send it to wherever you want, whether it's a desktop or external hard drive and so on. You can click whichever setting you want. You wanna send it YouTube 4K, you can do that, the format whether it's ProRes or JPEG or whatever the file may be. And then you can toggle on and off. If you're doing just video only, you can undo audio or vice versa. Say you want just the audio, you can undo the video. And then you can come down here and just kind of make sure that everything is set to what you want as far as frame rate, resolution, that sort of thing. And then you would just click export and then it would be same as usual. And then it goes to export. Cancel that. So going back to the things I really like, I actually do like the import window. I like how you can kind of organize, you can you can pre-do the bins, you can do separate bins. And I do like the fact that if I want to build a sequence, I can pick and choose the order that I want to place them in the sequence to have a rough edit before I even start. So I really like that. And I just think the overall layout is simpler and more user friendly, but yet it still has all the same power and functions as it did before. I know this is a fairly simple overview of the new layout. I just wanted to talk about it and kind of explain some of the changes. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Thanks again. Later.